With this particular part, it's somewhat confusing to look at. All the holes can make it confusing to see. When we want to add tool paths for machining the part, we don't need to see the holes when we're concerned with just machining this edge out of the part. An easy step to take is to move the holes. We can select them by color to a new level and shut the visibility of that level off. Because the geometry is already created, we're going to come down to level and we're going to right click on level. The system will ask us to select the entities we wish to change the level of. If you select all, we can activate the color selection. And for example, if I want to move all the holes created in blue number one, I just turn on the checkbox here, accept this selection, and my selection. The change level window will open up. You will uncheck use main level. And we wish to create a new level. So we click on the select button. Our level manager of sorts will pop up. And I'm going to move these counterboard holes to level two. I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to call them counterboard holes. So I enter my information, accept that selection. And if I wish the holes to disappear, I'll check force visibility box. I'll select the radio button for off. And when I say OK to accept the selection, the holes will be disappear. If I now left click on the level manager, I can turn the visibility back on of these 24 entities by clicking in the visible column. I can hide them by clicking again in the visible column. Now I'll move all of these blue circles to level 3. So once again, I right click on levels. I'm going to use the All button to select all the color blue. Accept my selection. End my selection. In the change level window, I'm going to click on select. I'm going to create a new level 3. And I'm going to give this level a name. I'll accept that. I'm back in the change level window. And once again, I'll leave the force visibility off accept that selection and these will now disappear. As this part is, it is much simpler to chain the geometry I wish when I want to machine these shelves. So one last time I'll move all the red entities to another level. So I right click on level, select all, color red, accept that selection, end my selection, in the change level window, I'll choose select and I'll create a fourth level. And these points represent tapped holes, so I'll name this level tapped holes. Accept this, and once again, accept the change level selection, and these are now hidden.